Hey, Joe Camposano, Camposano Marine, talking boat and yacht insurance. Uh, and today is going to be a little bit of a lesson about a boat insurance claim. When is a good time to put this claim in? When is not a good time? Uh, obviously, in a total loss, you would have the agreed value of the policy. The boat uh, policy would pay the entire amount, and most carriers are, would have no deductible in the event of a total loss. However, 90% of our claims we see are partial losses. So running aground, running into another dock, or running into another boat. Um, we had an example about that today where uh, a client has a partial loss. And I always tell all my clients that boat stands for bring over another thousand. If you know that and you're prepared for it, then we try to discourage most of our clients from putting in claims that are maintenance type claims. Uh, if you run into a dock and you damage fiberglass or some rub rails, that's the cost of boating, unfortunately. I don't always recommend that we try to put in a claim for under $1,000, sometimes under $2,500. The reason I do that is because the cost to repair a boat is always the estimate of the value minus, obviously, the deductible. And second of things, really, this is a hidden deductible. It's depreciation. Remember, our job is to get you as you were the day before the claim in whatever value it was. So if you have a 10-year-old outdrive and you run aground and damage it, well, you have a 10-year-old outdrive. You're going to get replaced with new parts, but you're not going to get the new part value. It'll be the cost to repair minus the depreciated value of that mechanical damage or part. It's real important so that you end out with a net result of a lot less than what you think you're going to get, which is why we sometimes say put the claims in or go with a high deductible to save some premium and put a claim in when it really matters. Five, ten thousand dollar claims. Yes, definitely. Those are the ones you should be putting in. But if it's a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, it's a cost of doing business. As, as a boat owner, unfortunately, I have to say that. I've unfortunately had to deal with that myself personally. So I always recommend, you can certainly put the claim in, but I always recommend that if you can write the check, you should write the check for that. So that way you don't lose any discounts and you're not reported to the clue or the TRW systems that are uh, watching all the claims that will affect home, auto, boat, motorcycle. All your claims are lumped into claim systems, which is a clue report, basically. So it's going to affect your rates not only on your boat insurance, but it could affect all your rates. Uh, call my office, 732-892-8826, or go to jcampesano.com. A lot of information on our website. Go to our social media sites. You'll be able to get a lot more information. But if you have any questions about your boat insurance, feel free to always call me, and uh, we'll be glad to help you out. Hope everybody enjoyed this video.